Hey, what's everyone? This is Tim. I'm just going to be doing a reveal video. This is Chapter 4 for the Golden Disc Collection Pack, and we have Pterosaur. So I'm just going to start on Hazard Pulse just so I can show you the availability, the pricing, and the dates. But I'm going to really mostly do most of the video on Amazon because they have better pictures and all that stuff. So let's get right into it. So here we have Pterosaur. This looks so, so cool, but we'll get to him later. So price-wise, it's $23, which is pretty, um, I think, a standard price. They do consider him to be a Voyager in this um, set. Uh, as you can see, I'll go to where it says it does say Voyager right there. If you can see what I've highlighted right where my mouse is. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does say Voyager right there. Um, and uh, here is a big story of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, the general story really is he wanted to team with the Mutant Tigertron, which was the third um the third chapter and overthrow the predacons which is kind of exactly what he did in the beast Wars show if you've seen the beast Wars show pterosaur wants to overthrow megatron and rule the predacons and all that stuff but of course he failed um but his uh, official release date is march 1st which is all of the packs so far i was able to get this one on hasbro pulse um, also the mutant tigertron as well and the first two i got on amazon just because how things kind of turned out but i i think that's fine um so yeah there's all the pricing and everything so let's get into more of the pictures and features on amazon because there's some better pictures on here in my opinion for me uh for me to show you so here we have this first picture so it comes with a gun which does look pretty cool i think this head sculpt looks really really nice so of course this is a a very extensive retool of the air razor mold as you can see the most similar parts are really the legs and the um, arms, um, but of course the weapon is different, the head sculpt's different, the wings are completely different, the chest is completely different. This is actually a faux chest. The uh, pterodactyl head is on the back. If you can see that big point sticking out of his back, I'm pretty sure that is the animal head, which is pretty cool. I am actually perfectly fine with the faux chest. It, we don't get those very often, so I'm perfectly fine with that. I think it looks really, really cool. Really like the head sculpt, looks really good. Um, I do think for the pterosaur figure itself, or like the character, I mean, um, I'm glad we have this one, but I do think they probably should have released this uh, sooner um, because he's one of the main, main biggest, you know, characters uh, of the Beast Wars show and a lot of people like him. So I do kind of feel for the people who can't get Hasbro Pulse exclusives slash Amazon exclusives. So I do hope maybe they'll be able to in like Canada and UK and other places i hope they'll be able to release this a easier way for other people but i don't know so here he is in his um, pterodactyl mode which i think looks really cool very nice green for the eyes the teeth look pretty cool there is a tongue not sure if there's articulation but it's there and that's pretty cool the wings do look really cool have very big nice claws on there also the there is some claws down there the transformation for the legs as you can see they're quite similar to air razors you just kind of fold them up but it is a little bit different but the main bulk of the figure uh, and its transformation is pretty different i would say um because on air razor you could see her head just flipped around on the belly of the eagle slash falcon but you don't see that at all on this version so the transformation will be pretty different i think here is the packaging art pterosaur right there really nice golden disc this is the last uh, box we need to complete the entire little um, display box display here's the back he transforms into 20 steps which is pretty cool so this does come with something else which is pretty cool and i'm kind of interested why they didn't put this on the uh, back of the box at all but it does come with a golden disc of course you know it does come with his 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 pistol which is cool I do kind of wish, there is one thing that I really wish that he came with, is if you saw the um, Beast Wars show, and there were several episodes where he had shoulder cannons, uh, of course, on either side of his head, and they don't come with them, and I really kind of wish they did, but it's not, I would say, the biggest problem ever. But here we have another picture. Um, people do say the wings are too big, but you can fold them up, and you can actually uh, kind of bring them in even more than that picture i just showed you as you can see there's a lot of hinges to work with to fold it up as you can see there's several different hinges there to fold it up to be smaller and more compressed here he is with his pistol again 
and this is the golden disc. So I do really like how they gave um, this set the golden disc because honestly it wouldn't really make any sense if it didn't because it is the golden disc collection pack. You know, I'm glad they didn't give you one with every single pack, but I think it makes sense they would they would put it in one of the packs. I'm kind of glad they didn't put it in the two pack with Road Ranger and Puffer because that would get pretty pricey pretty fast because it's already like forty three dollars. So I'm glad they put it in this pack. They could have put it maybe in the um, jackpot um, sets because that one's the same price. But I think that's good. I do think this should have come maybe with the Minicon. I know what they're trying to do because, you know, this price is the same price as jackpot. And he came with a little uh, Minicon sights, which is a little uh, mini axe battle master, which is cool. But I do kind of think... They're trying to say that the Golden Disc really fills the place for the Minicon in this set, you know, in this pack. And I don't really think it does, because this this uh, Golden Disc doesn't even transform. I do like its inclusion, though, because um, the only other way you can get a Golden Disc is in the ARC, uh, you know, um, sets, this, the big box, um, because I think that's really hard. I mean, it is a mainline thing, but you have to spend a hundred and like eighty dollars on it to get the Golden Discs. I think this only comes with only comes with one and this description right here down here um i don't know if you can see but if you can't just look on amazon it does say includes golden disc so i think it is just one there is two course but if you have the arc you have the other one so that's good um i'm not sure how the people positioning this i don't know how they were able to actually get the disc like that without falling so props to them but I think overall it does look really cool. I kind of wish it came with a Minicon. I'm not sure which one. Or maybe uh, most likely if it came with Minicon, it would be, of course, repaint, slight, maybe slight remolds, but it would be one we've seen before. Or it could have come with some blaster piece or something. Or maybe if they just wanted to add the shoulder cannons and no Minicon, I honestly would have been perfectly fine with that. But I think it looks really, really cool. Um... And it's, again, sold out on Hasbro Pulse, which is a shame. I would highly recommend to get this while you can, because this figure does seem to be, because I've watched several, uh, you know, videos like this talking about all the packs. I've watched several videos of mo a lot of people saying that this is the star out of all of the packs, all four of them. So I would highly recommend if you, you know, are like, oh, I like Pterosaur, but I can just wait. I would do it now. Um, only really nitpick, I would say, is the... Um, pterodactyl mode, I would say, is a little chunky. It's a little too chunky because in the show, you know, um, it was very thin, very sleek. I know it couldn't be as thin and sleek as that because, of course, it has to transform the show. You know, they animate it. They can do whatever they want. But I would, I would hoping it could be a little less chunky. Um, I think you probably understand what I mean. But very, very cool. Um, I think that's all there really is. Uh, all, there's, you know, some more information down here, um, so you can uh, really, I actually forgot to mention this in the um, the uh, Mutant uh, Tigertron one, the story really goes by, because if you read this story for Mutant Tigertron, I didn't really talk about it in that video, but um, the wave, the little energy wave, uh, makes him mutated, of course, but also it takes away his memories and his allegiance, so that is kind of nice how you can really say that he is a Predacon or a Maximal, and that's good, because I actually really wanted, uh, you know, before we knew we were going to get a Mutant Tigertron, I really wanted the last two packs, of course, now we know them, but I was hoping the last two would be Predacon or Predacon and Decepticon or either of those, uh, so that is nice, because you can really choose with Mutant Tigertron if you want him to be a Maximal or a Predacon. In the story, he does get his memories back, but of course, you don't have to go by that story if you don't want to. But that's pretty much it. I think it looks really cool. This is the last pack. That was all four of them. I'm very surprised how um, fast these were released. But they're all March 1st. I don't think that will end up being that way. I think some of them will be a little bit earlier than others. Really just depends about when they make them and how many they have and how many people bought of them. But looks really cool. Tell me what you think of Pterosaur in the comment section below. And um, I will have some reviews for Shadow Panther, Wasp, and Editor, and all those other characters, all those other figures I unboxed recently. And I think that's it, so I'll see you next time.